Hello, everyone. My name is Jake Walker. I'm a cloud security engineer here at Checkpoint Software Technologies. We're going to be going over uh, the onboarding process for enabling account activity within your CloudGuard native console. Now, where I'm located here is under the Assets module in the Environments tab, and I can see the AWS account with which I want to enable account activity on. In order to start that process and get to the wizard, I'll select Enable Account Activity here. And I'll be given two options for onboarding. I'll be given the standard onboarding as well as the custom onboarding. Now the standard onboarding is more specific for onboarding CloudTrail logs from a single cloud account. This can be done with a single S3 bucket or multiple buckets, but make sure that all the logs originate from that same account. Now, if I have a bunch of AWS accounts and I wanna create a centralized S3 bucket to house all those CloudTrail logs from those different AWS accounts, I can select the custom onboarding method here. Now, in my case, I just have one account and one S3 bucket I've created for housing those logs. So I'll select the standard onboarding and select next. Now we're at the prerequisites page. This is gonna give us uh, instructions on how to create an S3 bucket, as well as create a cloud trail and send those cloud trail logs to the S3 bucket. Now, in my case, I've already created an S3 bucket, as you can see here, and I've labeled it CloudGuard event activity hyphen JW for my initials. And in this tab, I'm in the CloudTrail Management Console. Now I need to create a new trail and feed all those CloudTrail logs into that S3 bucket that I've already created. In order to do that, I'll select Create Trail right here. And I'll be given options such as naming it, which I'll name it CloudGuard um, Account Activity JW. Instead of selecting create new S3 bucket, right? I could create a new S3 bucket on the fly here within this menu, but I've already created an S3 bucket. So I'll simply browse for that S3 bucket and I named it um, uh, CloudGuard event activity, hyphen JW, I'll select choose there. Um, I can opt to send these logs to a specific prefix. I can also use SSE KMS encryption in order to do this. In my case, just for simplifying the process of onboarding, I'll uncheck that box and everything else I can leave as default. So I'll select next here. And in this case, I just wanna log those management events, just the operations performed against my AWS resources. I'll make sure I select both the read and write, and I'm not going to exclude those AWS KMS events either. From here, I'll select next, review and create. Everything looks good here. It's basically default besides a couple parameters I selected in the previous steps. So I'll select create trail, and my trail is now created and its status is set to logging. I can also see the S3 bucket in which I'm feeding um, those logs to. Now from here, I'll navigate back to the CloudGuard console. I've created a cloud trail and I already had an S3 bucket configured, but as you saw in the previous steps, I could just create one on the fly in that cloud trail menu. I'm going to select next now that I've accomplished both of those. And what we need to do is we need to add another policy into the role that we had already created to onboard the account. Let's take a look at this policy document. Basically what we're allowing is for CloudGuard to get objects out of an S3 bucket and then to get notified um, when new objects are put into that S3 bucket. So I'll copy this policy to my clipboard and I need to add this policy to the role I created during the onboarding of the cloud account into the CloudGuard platform. So in order to get there, I'll simply type in I am and go to my I am service here. And I need to create a new policy with that JSON that I have copied to my clipboard right now. From the I am management console, I'll navigate to policies and create a new policy. Swap over to the JSON tab and paste in what I have on my clipboard, which is that policy that gives CloudGuard the ability to get objects and be notified when new objects are put within that S3 bucket. I'll select tags and I don't wanna add any tags to this right now. So I'll select review. I'll give this policy a name. We'll just call it CG for CloudGuard account activity. And give this policy a description. Cloud trail logs. And we'll go ahead and create this policy. Now we also need to add this policy to the role that we created during the onboarding step. So I'll navigate to the roles over here and I'll search for that role I created when initially onboarding the account. I named it CloudGuard read only role. 
and I will select this and attach another policy to it. And we named it CG account activity hyphen JW, and we'll go ahead and attach that policy to the role. Now we've accomplished uh, step three here, where we uh, created a new policy and added that new policy uh, to our role that we originally used to onboard the account. So let's select next here. And this will be pulling our AWS account for information on S3 buckets that the CloudGuard application can see. We can see here, we have the ready to connect for the CloudGuard event activity hyphen JW bucket. We'll select that bucket and select next. And we are connected. So now we can select finish here and we can opt to add some new alerts to our account or possibly onboard another. In my case, I'll just close out of this and we'll head back to the environments tab where we can now see that we have the green check mark for account activity and we've successfully onboarded CloudTrail logs or that account activity into our CloudGuard native console. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. Hope it was helpful and look forward to the next one.